Good morning guys, so we are on the P&O Britannia and we are just going to show you in this video a typical breakfast, lunch and dinner in the Horizon Buffet. Yeah, so we're also going to do videos for like the food in the main dining room plus a couple of the speciality restaurants yep. but this is specifically just for, like I've said, the buffet. So the Horizon Buffet on board the ship is on deck 16 and for breakfast is open between the hours of 7am and 11am. Yep. I can't see that changing really but the you times yeah the uh, the times are always in your horizon magazine yes. so just double check that on if you are on the ship yeah but uh like I say we'll do breakfast first obviously most important meal of the day <laughs> so i'm ready for a bit of food are you oh definitely let's do this Right, so let's show you breakfast now. So as soon as you walk in, Stacey's gonna show you, you've got your hand washing stations. Okay, so you know I wash your hands, I'm gonna show you No, <laughs> we'll leave her to that. We'll just walk in now. It is nice and early, so uh, hopefully it's not too busy. So there's plenty of seating areas, you've got booths, or you've got tables there, morning. So there is two buffet stations. They're both not always open. They're not open for evening meals at the far end. So you've got this one and the one at the far end. We'll probably try the one at the far end, see if that's a bit quieter. But as we go through, you've got juice, which is available at breakfast. You've got a tea and coffee machine there with all different tea bags, different types there. You've got like uh, fruit ones and green teas and all that kind of tea. Oh, and just quickly as well, these uh, tables are on both sides. So you've got some this side and you've also got to load on that side as well. It's split over two sides. We'll start on one side and work our way around. So we'll start with this side. You've got some meats and cheese there, a few different types of cheese, some sliced meat there. And then you've got like a bit of a muesli station where you can make your own muesli there. You've got different seeds. And then you've got like some peaches, some nectarines there, and some prunes if you want to keep regular. Then we've got some fresh fruit here, different types of melon, some pineapple there, grapefruit halves, some oranges there and apples if you want to just take a bite instead of some sliced fruit. They do have some uh, prepared smoothies, they change most days. Today's is a mixed berry smoothie. Also, as we go around here, you've got some baked beans. They do so have some uh, other options. You've got aloo bhaji, whatever. Is that like a potato? Looks like potato and poppy seeds there. And then some little potato balls at the back. We have some more cereals here. You've got some normal ones like Rice Krispies, Frosties, Weetabix. There's your milk. And then you've got some different ones like fruit and fiber, Special K and Corn Flakes. They do have a dietary counter. So if you can't have say milks and other allergies there, so they've got some, what have they got? Oh, some uh, like dairy-free mozzarella, dairy-free spreads, sugar-free uh, jams there. They do have some small American pancakes and some warm croissants, as well as little bowls of ketchup and brown sauce. They have a selection of rolls, some whole meals, some brioche style ones, and some milk bread, and then just your what we've got here some butter and some different marmalade and strawberry jams and then we'll move on to the warmer stuff so here's your bacon your sausage they've got some scrambled egg at the back just there they would have fried eggs here some more baked beans they've got some black pudding and they would have some kippers we all know what it's a fish if you don't know what kippers are then you've got your toast section there will be brown and white toast ready made and they've got some fried breads they've got some small prepared omelets there these these are mushroom omelets they have tomatoes hash browns oh there's your kippers and then just a little bit further down here we've got more black pudding more beans but then these ones are spicy jalapeno pepper sausage or jalapeno depends how you want to say it and then like i said before it's just repeated on the other side just so you can have some people up this end and then you can have some people up this end and then just to finish off here you've got some more pastries you've got some vanilla muffins chocolate banana muffins and different types of danish there and then finally they do also have some porridge but it's just covered over because this section isn't quite open yet so that is everything that you can eat on a pno britannia breakfast buffet 
so it's breakfast time so I've gone for a DIY bacon sandwich now I will say that the bread selection is very very poor there's no like crusty rolls or anything there's like no that or like seedy bread there's no just like sliced bread there's only toast there was like a milk roll this brioche one that I had and then I think whole meal maybe a whole meal but yeah it's just not a great bread selection but the brioche roll does look very nice and then the bacon is bat bacon I do prefer streaky bacon myself, but hey ho, it does look nice. And then brown sauce. Now, if you don't have brown sauce on your bacon sandwich, no, 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 you're never going to be a friend of mine. Sorry. I like a red sauce, and I'm your husband, so <laughs> I, I make allowances for you. No, I'm only joking. And as it is Easter at the moment, they have provided a hot cross bun on the buffet, so that was a nice touch, a sticky touch. Right, another thing to note is they don't have somebody making eggs how you like or they don't have somebody doing an omelette station. They, so the fried eggs are very snotty on the top. So if you're a bit funny over fried eggs, maybe give them a miss. And I did pick up the jalapeno sausage just to see how spicy it is for you guys. Tastes just like a Cumberland. No spice at all. So if you're uh, worried about that one, don't be. And then I also got the the sag bhaji, just to see what it was like. It's a very bland potato curry. So if you like not spicy sausage and bland potato curry for breakfast, you'll be fine. Now come on now, Piano, you're not showing us Brits in a very good light, because you can't even get a not cross bun right. Kev, <laughs> Kev's just bit into his and he gasped. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it was that dry. Let me just point that out. Just to, uh, just to demonstrate, I'm going to chuck it over my shoulder at the window. No, 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 no. And see if there's a crack. In the no, end, we can't crack a window. <laughs> just drop it on your plate. Honestly, it's for me to rock off. Look at that. So I'm going to bite in this now to demonstrate how blimmin' hard it is. And just if I lose teeth. me front, I was going to say, I'll start the GoFundMe in the uh, description down below if you want to contribute to that, if my teeth go. Look like a hard cross bun. So I can confirm the coffee is actually nice. There is no choice on the machine of like your cappuccino or your latte, it's just coffee. <laughs> and, and they do do decaf. And it's PG Tips tea bags as well. So if you miss that PG Tips taste of home, you'll be fine. But anyway, enough of tea and coffee. On to lunch. Right, so we're back here now for lunch. So let's see what goodies they've got today. Right, so we'll start off with the uh, the meats and the fish. So we've got some mussels there, some salmon gravlax. We've got some uh, ham. Uh, oh, the chicken and smoked ham apricot terrine there. Stacy had that one night in the main restaurant. She really enjoyed that. They've got your create your own salad bars there with some dressings as well. Then you've got some pre-prepared salads here. They normally have about three different ones on each time. And then just some apples there and some very big plums. And then just across we've got a lentil curry, some ooh, very nice looking onion barges, and some miso grilled aubergine, and that goes with this sticky rice. Then we've got a couple more pre-prepared salads, and today is a roasted chicken with lemon and herb mayonnaise bath, and some crisps on the side there. And then we will get on to the warm ones, so we've got a, ooh, a chicken biryani, some Bombay potatoes, some southern fried wedgies, a chicken and ham short crust pastry pie, uh, some roasted beetroot, some french fries, and then, oh, we've got a little fish medley here. We've got frito misto of prawns, white bait, squid, and scampi. The roast today is a roast saddle of lamb with some lamb red wine jus. And then the accompaniments are some savoy cabbage, some roasted parsnips there, and some uh, little look like fried new potatoes they also have uh, some hot dogs what you can create yourself there they also have a, a burger you can make yourself there as well I suppose you could go and put your own salad and cheese on from across the other side oh we've got some pork adobo here with sticky rice and then asparagus tortellini and a tomato sauce right here's your bread selection it's a bit better than it was for breakfast we've got some focaccias here and then uh, your other little rolls 
and some farmer's rye loaf and that comes with the cheese there and some piccalilli at the side and some crackers right let's move on to the desserts now so you've got some fresh fruit salad as always we've got a coffee cake a uh, matcha tea tiramisu some chickpea meringue with some strawberry compote that's quite different chickpea meringue there and then a banana yogurt mousse and then we also have a white chocolate and vanilla creme brulee which sounds very nice today's soup is a split pea soup and then next to it is the custard which is always be careful because one's custard one soup and to go with your custard they have a warm pear charlotte right so we've just gone around the, the lunch buffet just quick to get a few little bits to sack on the selection today seems a lot better than on some of the other days, so maybe it can be a bit hit and miss. Yeah, the overall, you know, selection choice was very good today. We've got like a, a chicken biryani and there was some nice mussels and some salmon and all that, which you would have seen. So I'm really, really looking forward to, I know it sounds silly, one of these onion bhajis, they just seem like really nice. Lunch is served from 12 till 3, but again, just check your Horizon. I know we've seen this a lot, but check your Horizon magazine because it'll give you the exact times. Right, so I've gone for some for focaccia bread, some mussels, some breaded prawns that look delicious, some southern fried wedgies, and it was a lemon and herb chicken sandwich, and they do put a few... Um, crisps on there only a few all done with lunch now on to the dinner buffet back for a third time so if you're still hungry let's show you what you can have for your dinner in the horizon buffet restaurant right okay so we'll start at this end this looks like the fish and meat section so you've got some hot smoked salmon some peppered mackerel your usual meats there some chicken breast and then you've got a build your own salad station there with some dressings at the end then you've got some prepared little bowls of salad there uh, there's three different types you've got some grab and go fruits i don't know what called just normal fruit and then we do have a couple of curries there there's a lentil one uh, some rice it doesn't say what the one at the back is but it comes you do get pickle pickle chutney and mango chutney so this one has got the side it is a mixed vegetable curry some more salad a prawn uh, back there so we do have some bread here got a crusty white roll we haven't seen this one yet and also some raisin and rye loaf and then you've got your normal cheese and crackers there go with some hot foods now so they have some uh, rice noodle salad some egg fried rice normal basmati rice lamb dapiasa curry a little lasagna there some pesto mash ooh, sweet potato fries and some breaded place fillets tonight's carvery meat is veal loin with a sage crust that also comes with madeira sauce and then you have your bubble and squeak cake some potato gratin and some roasty potatoes we also have a warm bulgur wheat salad and some szechuan prawns with soba noodles and then a potato leek and root vegetable cheese and oat crumble right then on to your desserts there we have some fruit salad some lemon posset a dark chocolate and beetroot cake with a vanilla cream and raspberries lemon and raspberry bakewell tart and finally a chocolate mock i'm gonna say marquise peanut butter and banana and then just on the end there they have a mushroom soup be careful because next to it is a custard which i'm guessing you have with your mixed fruit crumble and then everything is doubled so pretty much what is on this side is the same on the other side and at night the other buffet which is through those doors i believe unless i'm the wrong way around yes through those doors is not open at night so it's just this one that is closest to the pool entrance now they do also have and i've showed you this one with the evening meal more than the other ones they aren't in order at the moment but they do have a serve your own uh, beer and serve your own wine by the glass around the other side they also have a soda station uh, these are not working at the moment but just be careful because we were speaking to a gentleman earlier who was telling us that these are not included in your drinks package you will be charged separately separately for these so just be careful so as you've just seen kev just showed you around the buffet quit there we didn't actually eat dinner in the buffet we have no. only been on the cruise five nights and we've tried to like to film some of the specialty restaurants and 
to be honest, personally we prefer the food in the main dining room. We just think it's a lot nicer. Yeah, the, the food... The buffet isn't fantastic, it's no. okay. No, the, I think the variety's not been the best and that's just our personal preference. Yes, of course, yeah. You know, like tonight it was veal, Stacey wouldn't eat veal. <laughs> and there isn't like another main meat choice. So no, there was a better uh, bread selection. There was a few more. So I did, I did complain in the breakfast one that there wasn't much bread on yeah. offer, but there was, you know, there was a few more crusty rolls available there. So just for reference, the dinner buffet is open from 6 p.m. until 9:30 p.m. You then have a kids' afternoon tea, which is from 4:45 p.m. till 5:45 yes. p.m. Now I did mention that the dinner buffet was at the bottom end, the kids buffet was at the top end, that was just finishing. But it, by, from the looks of it, it was just like spaghetti, chips, chicken nuggets, that kind of yeah. kiddies stuff. So you don't need me to show you that stuff, it's basic <laughs> kids food for them. And then they also do it in the buffet, it's called Late Snacks, and that's from 11 p.m. till 1 a.m. And we are not up that late. No. <laughs> you're still, so if you're still hungry then obviously yeah there you go you can head to there so there you go it'll be been a useful video for you you've got the breakfast lunch and dinner options there that are available in the buffet the times we give you i can't see changing but as always we always say to you check the horizon magazine yes. and it's in there with what all the times are so let us know in the comments below um are you more of a buffet person or a main dining room i suppose it depends on which ship you're on because yeah, there's yeah. other ships we've been on where we've preferred the buffet than the main dining room some people like room. the waiter yeah. service some people yeah. like you grab and go everybody's different you yeah. are what you want to be so it's not that it's terrible by the way yeah it's just no. to, like we say we just think the quality's better in the main dining yes. room personally but talking about main dining room as I joked before, we do have a main dining room video as well to show you what the food's like in there. And we also have two specialty restaurants as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in any of them, go check them out because they might be to your taste as well. But hit that like button, give us a subscribe as well because there's plenty more crew stuff to come over the next couple of months. And I'm absolutely roasting here on this yeah, balcony. I've got jump on as well. <laughs> it's actually quiet. We're in Rotterdam at the moment and it's very sunny. Yes. So. <laughs> Before we start sweating, nobody wants to see that. So We're going to leave you there. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.